What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing us a mission guide for tier one of the Phalanx faction here in season four. In this video, you guys can expect me to cover each and every one of the seven missions in this tier. And after you complete the final one, you will unlock tier two of the Phalanx faction. But before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content at any time or find this video helpful in any way, make sure to show your support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw an easy goal of 150 likes on today's video, as well as if you'd like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Also, the notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, so first up, we have Welcome to Vondel. This one is going to be a three parter part one is asking us to activate a uav tower in vondel so once you guys are able to actually infill into the map you guys are going to go ahead and open up your tac map and you guys are going to locate one of the uav towers which you guys should be able to identify at this point you guys will go ahead and ping that and you're going to head over to it and you're going to want to activate it once you guys are able to activate the uav tower which you guys could actually spawn pretty close to at the beginning of the match part one will be complete now, part two is asking us to pick up an enemy radio in Vondel. Now, this is going to be a little bit more tricky because there's a little RNG factored in, but it's overall pretty easy and straightforward. Just going to eliminate enemies on the map until one of them drops the little radio that says activate UAV. You guys, we're going to go ahead and pick this up, and this second part will be complete. Now, part three is asking us to kill three radio marked enemies in Vondel. So whenever you get lucky enough to have one of these radios drop, which sometimes can be more rare than others, you guys are going to go ahead and pick the radio up, and hopefully it will mark a few enemies, maybe even three of them. You guys will go ahead and take out the pinged enemies. Once you guys eliminate three enemies that are pinged by one of these radios, you guys will then complete this mission. Next up, we have Ready to Rock. This one's going to be three parts. Part one's asking us to acquire a large plate carrier. Now, if you guys are confused what this means, it means a three plate armor vest. So if you guys already have access to one of these, you can simply just drop it or pick up a two plater and then swap it back out for the three plater and it will complete it immediately. But if you don't have access to one of these and you need to acquire one, my best recommendation for you is to get access to a stronghold key card and go hit up those strongholds. Now, there's multiple uses to hitting up the strongholds. If you guys are unable to to acquire a three plate vest by doing those you guys will at least acquire a bunch of money going through that process and you guys can head over to your nearest buy station and actually purchase a three plate vest there are obviously comms vests stealth vests and medic vests that are included in this process so if you guys come across any of those whether you eliminate players eliminate a boss and they drop it you guys will be able to pick those up and it will count as well however the tempered vest is excluded as it is technically a two plate vest so you guys are going to go ahead and infill you guys are going to be looting around the map as much as possible trying to get money or get access to that vest either purchase one come across one eliminate players Players, which would allow you to pick one up once you guys get access to one of these large plate carriers part one is then complete now part two is asking us to acquire a large backpack now you're gonna be doing very similar things that you did in part one you're gonna be looting strongholds supply drops just doing anything and everything you can to loot around the map in order to get access to money if it takes that to go to the buy station and purchase one but i definitely recommend checking out the hospitals as i have found them in there and also even in some cases those buildings that have the ammo resupplies in them they're like a square shape those can even have them in there as well so you guys are going to go ahead and check out hospitals check out these ammo resupply locations or go through the looting process you did for part one and or get access to that money and go ahead and purchase one but once you guys are able to get access to that large backpack part two will be complete now part three is just asking us to acquire a self revive now you guys are going to be able to get access to these fairly easy definitely recommend just looting around the map going each and every one of the buildings hit up the bathroom go into the medicine cabinets or first aid kits within a little amount of time you guys should get access to a self revive kit they are fairly common if you're struggling to find these of course you can go over to a hospital location and these will be very common in those as well more than likely on your journey to completing part one and two you guys will come across a self revive kit but once you guys get access to this that will complete part three now it is important to note if you guys want to complete this really easy you guys can go in with one of your characters that already have a three plate vest a large backpack and a self revive and all you have to do is either drop them on the ground or swap them for a lesser of that item and then re-pick them up and it will knock out each of these individual parts once you guys are able to knock out acquiring a large backpack large plate carrier and the self revive kit this mission will be complete next up we have cargo keeper this one is going to be a two-parter part one is asking us to complete a cargo delivery contract now you guys are going to open up your tac map once you infill into the map you guys are going to be looking for one of the contracts as there are two it is like a briefcase and it's either in the water or sitting above water which would be the sea version of it or it's just going to be sitting on land and obviously that's the land version of it you guys are going to go ahead and head over to this location pick up this contract and it's going to have you going and grabbing a specific transport vehicle you guys are going to jump into that vehicle and it will have you deliver a package to a specific exfil chopper or a chopper that's going to pick up the delivery. You guys are going to head over to that location, but during that process, there will be a chopper that comes in and pretty much just shoots at you the entire time. If you guys are doing this solo, I definitely recommend going for the land one as it is a little bit easier and the C1 tends to be a little bit more difficult as it's harder to actually dodge the chopper's bullets. But depending on which situation you guys find yourself in, you guys are going to want to go ahead and grab one of these two contracts. You'll head 
head over to the location, it'll grab the vehicle, you'll take the delivery to the delivery location, and then once you guys actually deliver the package to the chopper, that will complete the contract and part one. Now, part two is asking us to fully repair and refuel the transport vehicle. So once you guys actually complete part one and the contract is done, you guys will likely need some fuel or have taken some damage at that point as the AI or the chopper have shot you. You guys are gonna head over to your nearest gas station. You're just gonna go ahead and park next to one of the pumps, of course, and you're gonna wait for the progress bar to fill all the way up. So you are going to fully repair and refuel this vehicle. And once that progress bar is complete, that will complete part two and this mission. All right, next up, we have Cross Town. This one is gonna be a two-parter and it is taking us over to Vondel. Part one asks us to visit the cruise terminal in Vondel. So once you guys infill into the map, you're gonna identify where you guys have spawned. Maybe you get lucky, you spawn near the zoo or even this location. And you guys are gonna go ahead and open up your TAC map if you don't. And you're gonna go ahead and identify at the Southern point of the map where the cruise terminal is. You guys are gonna head over to this location. And once it says cruise terminal at the top of your map, you guys will get this first part knocked out. Then part two is just asking us to visit the castle in the same deployment. Now it is very possible you guys will spawn on the opposite side of the map. So going to the castle first is something you could do if you choose to do that. But if not, you guys will be in that cruise terminal at this point. You guys will go ahead and grab your nearest vehicle and head over to the opposite side of the map, which is gonna be the castle. You guys are gonna go ahead and get over to this castle area. And once it says castle at the top of your screen, you guys will know that you've made it to this part and obviously it will knock out part two. And again, if you guys go ahead and spawn on the castle side of the map at the beginning and hit the castle first, all you'll have to do is head over to the cruise terminal on the other side of the map. And once you get over to that second part, this mission will be complete. Next up, we have a day at the zoo. This one is going to take us over to Vondel and will also be three parts. Part one is asking us to travel to the zoo. So once you guys actually infill into the map, you will open up your TAC map. And if you aren't lucky enough to spawn at the southern point of the map, you guys will look in that area and see where the zoo location is. You guys are going to need to head over to this area. Once you guys see zoo pop up at the top of your screen, this first part will be complete. Now part two is asking us to loot 10 containers at the zoo. Now obviously people beat you here and they loot everything around here. You guys will have trouble actually completing this. However, if you guys spawn nearby this or get to this location quick enough, you guys should be able to find well more than enough of these containers that you need to open. And it can be cash as simple as the first aid kits, medicine cabinets, luggage bags, just anything that you can actually open and loot will count as a container. So you guys are gonna go around the area of the zoo looking for these containers. Once you guys have looted 10 of these, part two will be complete. Now part three is just asking us to kill 15 enemies at the zoo now even if someone comes over here and loots obviously reinforcements come in from time to time so you guys shouldn't have too many issues sticking in this area as long as the zoo at the top of your screen you guys will be in the right area eliminating 15 enemies so you guys are just going to hunt down enough ai but you guys will stick it out hang out in this area long enough to eliminate 15 enemies at the zoo once you guys are able to do that this mission will be complete next up we have well supplied soldier this one is only going to be two parts part one is asking us to acquire a secure supplies contract you guys are going to be opening up your tac map looking for the tac phone that has a little cube like symbol on it with a plus you guys are going to go ahead and ping this contract and you're going to head over to it once you guys actually pick up the secure supplies contract part one is then complete part two just asks us to complete a secure supplies contract in two and a half minutes now before you guys even head over and grab the contract i definitely recommend getting access to a vehicle because it's going to help you get from one location to the next in much shorter time then you guys are going to head over and grab the contract that way the two and a half minute timer starts and it will be at the top of your screen to help you kind of keep track of where you're at with it then you guys are going to go ahead and head over to your first location it's going to take you over to basically a loot cache or a loot box you guys will then open that and it'll send you over to a second location you guys will go over to the second location obviously driving from one location to the next to get there as quickly as possible so you guys will head over to the second loot cache box you guys will open that and it'll send you over to a third one once you guys get over to the third one you'll open that and it'll actually knock out this mission now i've done this mission with a vehicle and without and i was able to get from one location to the next with and more than enough time to actually complete it in the two and a half minutes however there could be times obviously where the caches may not be close enough together and you might actually fail if you don't have a vehicle so i definitely recommend grabbing a vehicle but once you guys are able to actually go ahead and grab the contract hit all three of the boxes and complete it this mission will be finished next up we have our last and final mission which is disarming presence this one is going to be three parts and taking us over to vondel as it's the easiest place to accomplish this part one is asking us to drop three iso hemlock weapons in a dead drop now it isn't going to matter which dead drop on the map you choose it's going to kind of determine based on where you actually are located when you get access to these weapons however in order to get access to the iso hemlocks you are going to go around the map and eliminate ai every so often the ai will of course drop an ISO hemlock, which you will pick up as a secondary or put inside of your backpack stowed. You guys will then head over to your nearest dead drop as you can only pick up one of these at a time and you guys will open the dead drop and dead drop this weapon. Once you guys are able to dead drop three hemlocks throughout an entire match, you guys will be able to knock out part one. And part two is just asking us to kill 10 enemies with an ISO hemlock. So during your process to acquire these ISO hemlocks, once one actually dropped, you guys are going to go ahead and pick it up and you're going to want to eliminate any AI that you can find. During the process, obviously, or heading back and forth to the dead drops to the enemies, you guys will be able to eliminate a 10 AI with the ASO Hemlock. Once you guys are able to eliminate that many during the process, part two will be complete. 
And part three is asking us to exfil with an ISO hemlock weapon in the same deployment. Now for me, this entire mission had to be done in the same deployment. I don't know if that's the intention. However, I definitely recommend trying to knock it out all in one shot just so you guys don't run into any issues. But basically what you're gonna need to do is obviously acquire the three hemlocks, go ahead and dead drop them, then obviously eliminate the 10 enemies. And during the process of eliminating the 10 enemies, hopefully you'll get another ISO hemlock to drop. Now you're either gonna wanna go ahead and pick this up and keep it as a secondary or put it in your backpack. Either one will work as I did do this myself. Then you guys are gonna need to head over to your nearest exfil. As always, I do recommend rescue hostages if they're available to sneak off the map, but regardless, you guys are gonna go over to your nearest exfil that it seems the most safe, exfil safely, and this mission will be complete. Now that's gonna wrap things up for tier one of the Phalanx faction here in season four. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.